all right guys thanks for joining so i just got the the one plus eight this is not the pro this is not the plus the t whatever it's just a regular eight and it's 2020 so let's see what it looks like so first of all it's a it's a pretty sturdy box like it's not gonna break in the mail i mean it's like you know like the typical iphone type stuff i guess i could have just done that so first of all right off the bat this feels very nice it feels almost like suede or cashmere very matte finish like i almost kind of hope the phone feels like this i don't know if this picks it up on there or not but very uh very nice feeling yeah the box itself is very nice there's the one logo so let's go ahead and oh look at that it slides open so it's very well made same material feels very nice here we go we got the tool for the sim card look at that it's a letter from Pete. I'll let you guys read that. Thanks, Pete. It's pretty nice. I mean, he even made his letter feel the same suede a very interesting feel. Oh, okay, so these are actually stickers. You can put that on your laptop, on your car. They're nice, a couple different ones. So there you go. Quick start guide, multiple languages, typical. Still very nice. I mean, they took the edges off. They, they went into great levels of details. It wasn't necessary, right? It's just a book, but you know. And the paper material is nice too. They didn't skimp out on some cheap. This is some very nice material. at that there is the phone so we'll put that here for a second we'll just see what else we got here got the charger it's got some white to it. it does not feel cheap it's individually wrapped so we'll just go ahead and cut off this little packaging little matte packaging so it's a very nice matte finish it's got a gloss on the face it's got little indentions right where your fingers would hold just to pull it in and out so pretty nice little ergonomic design there and this is the warp charger so it's got the 5 volts 2 amps Got all the UL stuff on there, so we'll just set that here. The cord, very nice. They give you these little holders so you can actually package this up, I guess, if you want to. I don't think I will. 
I will save them. So once again, the cord feels very nice. It's a matte finish, so it doesn't it doesn't slide. It kind of grabs. Connectors are also matte. The inside is red. It's got enough length. I believe it'll be about maybe three feet, maybe two and a half. Definitely more than two. And that'll be it. No secret compartments. You always check, you know, just like your grandparents when they give you a birthday card. Make sure there's no money in there. You never know, right? All right, so we will put all this back. And then if we need it, we'll know where it is. I already have a SIM card tool, so we'll just put that here as well. And let's move on to the phone. Very nice. The first thing I always look at is, are there fingerprints? And unfortunately, some of the cheaper stuff you get, it'll be brand new, but it will have fingerprints. So in this case, it's perfect. No fingerprints, a little bit of dust, not hair, just dust, you know, a couple little particles that could have just been from me even. And on the back, once again, perfect, nothing, camera lens, everything's clean. It's got a very nice feel to it. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, look at that. It already has a screen protector on there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it actually has a uh, screen protector. So that's a nice little feature. I mean, you know, it's free. It's already on there and no bubbles, right? That's one of the things people hate when they get the protectors. So the back, it looks like it's glass but it's kind of like aluminum with glass on top. I'm not sure exactly, but it, it's weird. It looks blue, but in the camera looks tealish. So I guess it's depending on the way the light hits it, but very nice. Let's move all this out of the way. Definitely an interesting look. Um, I got pretty big hands, and if it's like a like a typical, not even an iPhone X. I mean, I'd say it's more like a like the regular iPhone kind of. It's got a nice little feel to it. So it's got you know your one button here. It's got a nice firm click. Actually, it's the volume, so it's got two clicks. Then you got your one button here for power. You got your little clicker. Very solid. I like that. I mean, you're not gonna, I don't, you're not gonna bump this. I mean, it, it's a pretty hard click, and it actually stays in the middle. And then another hard click. And it goes over it's got little um serrated type you know 
feel to it, so it, it, it's pretty good. Got nothing on top except for the maybe speaker. And of course you got your three cameras, the one plus. On the bottom you got your charge port, speaker, and SIM card, and probably the microphone. So let's go ahead and start it up for the first time and see what happens. No, not charged. There we go. So not bad. The screen looks very impressive. Sixty-two percent battery life. You know, it's pretty typical. I like how you can still see even from the angle. Like normally, you probably wouldn't be able to see it, but I guess because of the bevel, the way it's designed, you can actually read it from even a hard angle. I personally like that. I mean for privacy reasons maybe you don't but I guess just dim your screen but it's very 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 vibrant very sharp I like it so far and the whole almost like no bezel I mean it's almost like I'm just holding a screen just got the little camera cut out there Let's see how small we can go. That's small. And that's big. Let's go small. Let's go small. I mean, after all, we got all the resolution and all the pixels, so we'll go with small. So we agree to the conditions because we don't have a choice or just don't use the phone. So yeah, we agree. And we don't want to do the experience program. It's going to search for some Wi-Fi. Oh, I guess this is where we can insert the SIM card. We'll just skip it for now. Searching for Wi-Fi, we'll skip that for now. We don't really care for the moment. So let's set our date. We are in Eastern time. Let's see. Where is minus five or seven? I forget where I live. Well, Let's go to Guam just because. And the date is incorrect. It's 2021. And it's April the 8th. And the time is 3.46, okay. And we will not use location. We will not allow scanning. We will not send Diagnostics data. And let's see what else we got here. So, well, that's with the Google stuff. All right, and we'll accept. So, the co creation, we will skip. And that's the thing, a lot of times people see the big blue and they think they have to click it, but there's usually a skip somewhere. It's, it's usually very tiny. So we will so we'll disagree on that one. Fingerprint, we will skip that. Set the key, we'll just do one. Ah, we'll just skip it, there we go. Skip, of course. We're just testing it out. 
the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Selecting a font, okay, so we got this and we got this. I don't know, they're both fine. So gestures, um, we'll just do the, the old school for now. Setup's complete and let's start. So here's some of the apps that are pre-installed. We'll just go to the, let's see here. There should be a, nope, don't help. No thanks. All right, let's see, where is it? There we go. So we got Assistant, Calculator, Calendar, Camera, Chrome, Duo, Drive, Context, Community Clock, Facebook. Let's see if we can, okay, so we can uninstall it, that's good. File Manager, Gallery, Game Space, Gmail, let's see if, that's a game, right? Let's see if we can just uninstall the whole. No, you can't, so you just edit that. You got Gmail, Google, Google Pay. You got Instagram, let's uh, delete that. Maps, Message, Messenger from Facebook. Uninstall that. Netflix, uninstall. Oh, you cannot uninstall that. Huh. But that's nice, you can change to, you know whatever logo you want whatever label that's that's pretty nice for for that got notes one plus switch phone photos play movie youtube weather setting the recorder play store and y music yt music and you cannot delete that okay so up top let's see here what we got you got your typical Wi-Fi, your SIM card, Bluetooth, flashlight, rotate, and battery. Uh, let's see, we got a couple. Is it the same on both sides? It looks like it is. And we go to settings, and let's see. So privacy, that's one of the first things that I checked just to see what it's preset to. And it says show password, lock screen, permission manager, and advanced autofill for Google. Uh, let's see ads so opt out of ad personalization yes so that it doesn't track everything you do you will still see ads but they may no longer be based on your interests so we're hoping that it doesn't actually track you as much let's see what else we got here okay that was it there usage and diagnostics um, so we will not do that See activity controls. There's no account. Okay. Location history. Hmm. I don't really want it to record on my location just because. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Let's see what else we got there. So let's see. We got accounts, utilities, system, and about the phone. So there's the, sorry guys, I was a little out of screen there. There's all the specs on the phone here. So let's see what the battery's like. You can optimize the charging, you can optimize the battery. Last full charge eight minutes ago, screen 16. So let's see. Okay, so that's okay. And of course, you can go in there and kind of tweak it to your liking. Uh, let's see, battery saver. So you can schedule it to a certain time. That's pretty nice. There we go, so at this rate, at 60%, we have three hours left if we just do whatever we're doing, just typical screen time. 
but of course as you use it I think it'll optimize and kind of give you a little bit more information storage let's see so it's using 23 gigabytes just for the system information it looks like so you got two gigabytes in files and you got 20 in systems so let's see what do we have in files here we have probably pictures maybe i don't know downloads android well i'll have to look into that but two gigabytes of stuff sounds like a lot of stuff we still got enough but still it's good to know so we got an image and we can choose what to use we'll use gallery just once we will allow it no photo found well that's weird because it says it's an image right there let's try to open it with photos huh look at that let's check the volume out oh yeah right there in the middle that's that's pretty loud I don't think I'd go much higher surround sound for sure I guess it's not set to automatically flip there we go very nice, very, very sharp screen. Let's watch this one more time and we will just turn the lights out. Let's see if we can uh, raise the brightness here. Not sure where it is. There, there it is. Oh man, that's crazy. That's almost like hurting your eyes. And as you can see, any angle that we're at, we're able to see it just just as well. As far as brightness goes, it doesn't get darker. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. There it is, one plus eight. Let me know if you guys have any other questions or if you want me to make any specific uh, videos of specific tasks, like maybe the camera, but I'm sure you see the specs, that's 47 megapixels, so it'll take great photos. You can zoom into them after, edit them, tweak them, and uh, still have plenty of resolution left to post on your Facebook and whatnot and probably print them, so. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe and thanks again for watching.